Yo, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here. Welcome back to the channel and everybody's favorite Call of Duty gaming snack, Mountain Dew and Doritos is back and offering double XP promotion deals for Call of Duty Vanguard. However, there are a couple of changes happening with the promotion this year and we're going to be going over that, the website and much more. Now guys, the biggest change you may notice is on the packaging itself. For example, the Doritos bag I purchased a couple of days ago has the Warzone and a Vanguard logo. So you can use this double XP across both games. And also each item will not only give you double player XP, but also weapon XP as well, which is really, really nice. Now, unfortunately, the codes are on the outside of the bag again, which could result in those players writing the codes down or taking pictures of the bags and then entering it in themselves when they get home or something like that which if that does happen let customer support know this because i'm sure the doritos customer support could give you a free brand new code for your troubles now there are a couple of new changes going on this year one of which is you are only allowed a max of three codes per day per person one prize per person per console and a limit of one hour of xp per day and up to 40 hours per person across dual XP redemption sites. It kind of sucks that you are only allowed to enter in three codes per day, but I imagine this is due to deter those players who like to take pictures of the codes on the outside of the bag, come home and enter them. So if you're one of those players, I commend your thinking process, but also screw you because you ruined this for everybody else. But it is what it is though. I guess again, this is to deter those players. Um, players also have the chance to win at daily prizes as they enter in codes. Codes, but as for that, I'm not sure what those prizes may be, but I imagine it's something like, I don't know, I, I guess a free copy of the game or maybe a year supply of double XP, stuff like that. We've seen it before in the past, so I imagine that's what those prizes are. So on the Doritos.com slash Call of Duty website, you have to create an account to enter in a code. You have to do this. And then after that, you will click on the enter codes option and then type in the promo code on the back of the bag or on the uh, bottle of Mountain Dew, whatever the promo code may be. And then next, you'll be directed to log into your Activision account. And after you do that, you will once again be directed to the Dew and Doritos website and your reward will then pop up on screen. So as you can see here, I was awarded an hour of double XP and double weapon XP for Vanguard and Warzone. Now Halloween is fast approaching us as well as season six and the haunting of Verdansk, which is gonna take place on October the 19th. And arguably that has been the best season of COD so far, in my opinion at least. But part of that experience, we could see a Halloween themed version of Nuketown for Black Ops Cold War because inside of the garage on Nuketown, we can see this trick or treat basket filled with Halloween candy. So maybe kind of like the Christmas themed version of Nuketown we saw for the beginning of season one for Black Ops Cold War, we're going to be getting a Halloween reskinned of Nuketown. Hopefully that does happen because Halloween is one of my favorite holidays for sure. And you know, Nuketown at night with like a bunch of different like scary stuff around the map, like lights, decorations, it'll be very, very beautiful. So hopefully we do get a Nuketown Halloween theme version coming for the haunting event, which by the way, I did say the haunting of Verdansk. They did actually change the title to just be called the haunting. So I guess that leads me to believe this event event is going to take place across Cold War and a Warzone this year. And for Cold War, one of those in-game events could be a Halloween version of Nuketown because of this trick-or-treat basket Easter egg. But tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments, guys. I love you all so, so much. Have a great rest of the day. Until next time, I'll see you all later.